A young Denver police recruit is now a double amputee, saying he was the victim of a barbaric hazing ritual at the academy. He's now suing the city, police department, and Denver Health, sharing his story with Fox 31's Talia Cunningham. All new tonight at 9. Talia. Well, Erica, the incident happened last year on January 6th, and Victor Moses was 28 years old at the time with aspirations of becoming a police officer. You see right here, he's pictured in his recruit uniform with dreams of helping people through law enforcement, but claims that that was all shattered by the agency itself. Take a look here. This is Moses now. You see he's in a wheelchair, now a double amputee as he now fights for justice. So we sat down with Moses today who shared that he's permanently disabled and disfigured for what he says is a brutal hazing ritual within the academy. He's now suing for excessive force and negligence that lawsuit just filed today. It details what's known as quote fight day within the academy, which is training that involves a series of real life drills, including things like arrests and self-defense. All recruits must participate to become a police officer. However, on that day, on January 6th, Moses alleges that he was repeatedly and violently knocked to the ground so hard at one time that his head slammed into the tile. At times, he lost consciousness and was pressured to continue, although he was showing clear signs of distress. At one point, the lawsuit also states that paramedics checked him out and he couldn't stand up on his own. His blood pressure was dangerously low and his legs were cramping up. But training officers still continue to straddle him as he lay unresponsive. You see it there. So for that day, everything to go just completely south and to be brutalized and assaulted in such a barbaric manner was just something unsuspecting. And everything happened so quickly that next thing you know, you're blink, you're on the ground, and then you can't breathe at one point. Now, Moses has the trait for sickle cell disease, which he claims was fully disclosed on his application and told to paramedics on scene. The lawsuit also states the repeated physical abuse triggered that blood disorder, creating several adverse effects, which recruits failed to properly address on scene. Moses spent four months in the hospital, had to undergo several intense surgeries, ultimately leading to his legs being amputated. I've always wanted to help people, and I feel like instead of weeping and crying and being in this continuous pain that I've had since waking up somewhere in January in the hospital, I want to advocate for people not only as now being handed this life as a double amputee, but I also want to advocate for other recruits. That complaint states there's a history and culture of excessive force surrounding this fight day with other recruits suffering things like a torn ACL, broken bones, and much more. We did reach out to Denver police, but they say they cannot comment on pending litigation.